Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. And I guess Kylie Jenner's making vlogs now, so we gotta check this out, right? Here we go. Um, make sure you guys, Arlie Nader, subscribe, check it out. Um, make sure you subscribe to Kylie Jenner if you have not checked her out. I'm not really that much of a um, Kylie Jenner fan or anything, but I do respect their also, I guess. You know, they, you know, I. Hey, man, however you got to make it, you got to make it, okay? It is what it is. Anyways, let's check this out. Good morning. I said that I was going to start this vlog a lot earlier. I think it's crazy how she got a, a like a like typical YouTuber vlogger camera. So she's like now Kylie Jenner's a YouTuber. Like she's making her money from YouTube probably now. Right. Plus, so plus her cosmetics line, and she had the Kylie skin line. Was stormy last night. She woke me up at six. Wouldn't stop crying. It wasn't. It wasn't the time to grab my camera and start filming. Stormy is back asleep. Um, I'm about to take a shower, brush my teeth, I have a long day today, and... I think it's kind of funny because most YouTubers, like, if you're not already famous, no one's gonna care about the stuff you said, but if you're Kylie Jenner, you're gonna be able to make money, literally just showing off your life, it's crazy. I'll tell you guys about it after my shower. Okay, so I just took a shower, washed my face. I have a really long day today. So I'm doing a bunch of meetings. I have like a cosmetic meeting, a skin meeting. Um, I gotta meet with my mom, my business manager. I wanna show you guys my office. I can't wait for that. Also, it's Ariel's birthday. Ariel is my makeup artist slash friend and I am surprising him with a birthday dinner because he said he wasn't doing anything for his birthday. I love birthdays. My phone is going off. <laughs> Kim K and Jen, like <laughs> all the people who watch that Kardashian show, whatever, whatever it's called, keeping the Kardashians or keeping up with Kardashians. This is like very like people are gonna go nuts knowing she has a YouTube channel. You know, this is probably smart on her end. I, hey, I'm down for it. I think it's cool. Um, like I said, I'm not really a Kardashian fan, but um, the way she's starting her vlog definitely isn't boring. Um, I don't know if my girlfriend, uh, you guys know who she is, Alyssa. I don't know if she watches the show. I ask her later on. Starts. I'm getting text messages. Kim, your family group chat. My mom and love the Jen. Who you will meet today? Okay, so sorry. stay tuned. We got a busy day. I'm not really gonna film glam because it's not that exciting. Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, that's really 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 cute. Yeah, Oh, that's so cute. Now, I am a Travis Scott fan, you know. I do listen to Travis Scott music, so that's the thing. Oh, I think it's weird. I think also, it's a t-shirt. Do we think white by Travis Scott? Or black? I'm going to do the black since she's on the farm. I love you. I'm going to finish getting ready, too. Oh, Imagine being a billionaire celebrity, getting to see their life and like <laughs> their hair. She's literally putting her hair like it's crazy. Like she has people literally like doing their hair for her while she's filming. It's just like, like I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, it's just like it's crazy because like most YouTube vlogs, uh, people just doing everything on their own, being normal everyday people, and I just think this is crazy. I don't know how vlog. I don't know how vloggers are going to take this. Okay, so now I'm going to go get dressed. 
I'll turn the camera around because we probably might fit in right now. I might wear one of these three dresses tonight. I want to wear something pink because my whole office is like black and pink. I love this Alexander Wang pink jacket with the pink matching pants. I also love this pink little workers jumpsuit. Chose the jumpsuit because I don't even have time to think about it. Um, I paired it with these white Chanel sneakers and dude, do you? I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. I like understand people. I am not hating on this. Bitch. I'm not hating. But do you really need that many purses? She's a billionaire. Don't get me wrong. She probably owns property. Can add, she? She can afford to. But there's no way she's gonna wear every purse she has there in her entire life. Okay. I am just being. Look, I have. I have a girlfriend. I know how this shit works. My girlfriend has shoes and clothes. She still has not put on yet. Okay. Yeah, or at least I think so. I'm pretty sure she does. And if some point, if she doesn't now, at some point she will, because that's how girls are. But anyways, this is a whole another level of being a woman. Okay, she is literally wasting her money on all these purses. I'm just saying, it don't. I ain't no way. Okay. Just a little. Silver hoop earrings, smash buttons, and some rings, and then I found these glasses, which are pretty cute. Okay. So. The glasses are ridiculous. You look like PewDiePie in his congratulations video. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So look at the tag. And then, yeah, now I gotta choose a purse. I'm thinking maybe white. I love this little box. Or clear. I'm gonna go with white because it's easy. Okay. Okay. I guess it's cool. Bro, do you really need the mini cars? Just saying. You only go, I mean, I understand people having two or three cars. I mean, you know what? I put. I take this back. If you are a person that owns a lot of cars and you rent them out, that makes perfect sense. But, like, if you just got cars to be flashy, it's insane. It's insane. Take it to Saturday. <laughs> She's basically driving a Rolls Royce tinted windows to where she gonna go. She, she literally vlogging her days. This is not like one of those somebody's filming her. She's doing this shit herself, bro. She literally, she literally hopped in a rollie. <laughs> like this is like YouTube vlog all over it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that car is nice. She living that life, but still it's like, come on. Well, me, I don't need that stuff, but I'm saying it is nice appeasing looking for people you know what i mean i would like to have a nice car though i mean like not like something super nice but if i have a nice tricked out jeep i'm cool you know i'm sorry i can't wait for you guys to see the office i guess it's all right so you're filming and i'm I'm shooting a vlog. We're doing something special together. Oh my god, look at us. We're so bright today. Wait, how am I wearing gray? Oh. This is an exciting day. We are, I really don't know what we're, exactly what we're doing today. But we have a collab coming. Okay, well, yeah. Like, we have a collab coming. We have a collab coming. They are literally talking like YouTubers. Oh, we have a collab coming. They are literally, they are literally copying YouTube culture. I'm not saying they can't be a part of it. I'm just saying, oh, we're going to collab today. Like, dude, they, they literally copied what YouTubers do. We literally say, saying, hey, me and this YouTubers, we're going to collab today. What do you mean collab? You guys are sisters and you're already rich. Like, you don't need to benefit from a collab on YouTube. But, okay. Full clip. 
I, I have to do a photo shoot later. Otherwise, I wouldn't have fooled that. You're on my blog. Hi, blog. The mama is here. Vlog. The mama is here. It's ridiculous. It's vlog. Mommy. Vlog. This looks really good. What are you eating? Chinese chicken salad. Okay, so we're gonna go to a little private meeting that you guys can't come in on, but we will see you after for the kind of cosmetic meeting. Stormy and her cousins. I guess. The farm. I, I guess. Take this. Bye guys, I love you. All right, let's do this. Hi, Mary. Oh, thank you so much. This, this looks delicious. What we want to do is get all of the- She is literally, when you're just so rich, you're eating during your business meeting. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's <laughs> nothing against it. Like I said, it's just like crazy. Components and the deco and all <laughs> it's so cream. crazy. Can we see this color no one with see. gold? Oh my god. Candle on it? And black. And black. Candle. Makeup. They're literally. Oh, they're, they're probably. I think we should do this for our anniversary on the November 30th. Okay. Okay. All gold. All gold. We're talking about the option too. <gasps> I hear a little baby. So you when you're born into running the world. <laughs> You get to see the behind the scenes of it. It's crazy. Okay, she turned out the like and dislike thing. I don't know if she just has a problem accepting like criticism. Let's see if she has any comments. Any comments on the video? Okay, she did allow comments on this one. What car should I take today? Me. Can I borrow a dollar for the bus fare? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, everyone's like already like clowning her. Which car should I take today? What bus route should I use today? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like a whole meme. Like, which purse should I take today? Me, which pair of socks should I wear today? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey Kylie, I think I'll take this guy today. Gets in Rolls Royce. I think I'll take this guy today. Gets on the bus. <laughs> it's so sad, bro. Damn, I feel so broke after watching this video. <laughs> These comments are like amazing. They they give me life, okay? <laughs> they give me more life than I deserve, alright? Come here. Go see the baby. Thank you guys. Ridiculous. <clears throat> she sounds, she literally sounds like Alyssa when she goes off. My girlfriend, like when she sees a cat, she goes, Oh my gosh, I see a cat. Oh my gosh, how are you? Hey, hey. It's ridiculous. She says, it, Oh my gosh. <sighs> ridiculous. You like this? Oh. She real for that. Y'all can't tell me if y'all didn't have a billion dollar company, y'all wouldn't have a playroom for y'all child, okay? Let's be honest. You said it almost. I love you. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I'll see you soon. That's cool. Hard to manage. That is so real. That's real. Yeah, you gotta give her I gotta give her props. For treating her daughter that way. That's real shit, boy. That's real, okay? Respect to Kylie. Regardless of what y'all say about her fake boobs, fake booty, fake hair, whatever. You gotta respect any woman that's willing to go that far to make sure their child is okay. That's cool. Mom, like... 
Hey, while y'all hating y'all other men out here, make sure your woman doing that too. Make sure you doing that for your kids too, okay? So that's why I made her. Okay, I'll see you soon. It's hard to manage mom life and work life sometimes. So that's why I made her a bedroom here so she could be with me and still have fun. Oh nice. Love that too. The first SPF product for Kylie's skin. You see? Stormy is in all my meetings. She really is. She really is. I for sure want to do Kylie skin. Kylie skin summer truck. Serve and serve soft serve. Soft serve ice cream. Ice coffee. Pink lemonade. Just like super cute summer vibes and sell the products at the same time around LA. Here. Break. I might have a little snack. I had to cut you guys off in Kylie's skin meeting because I don't want to ruin any surprises. Think about it like this. She is younger than her sister Kendall. Okay, and already has been with a dude at the age of 16. This dude was 27, I think, or 26. His name was Tyga, okay? She was underage, probably already having sex with him. And then you got, because at, at, at that point, when you're rich, no one cares. But apparently, when you be like a young person and you're in the community of the poor or the middle class, it's a huge deal. And then, like, like I said, then she got with Party Next Door dude, I think. And then she got with Travis Scott. Had a baby. She's only, what, 20, 21, I think. I don't know. She's younger than her sister, Kendall. I know that for sure. She's younger than... Look, even even Kim Kardashian didn't have her first kid so like, I think, 20-something. late Her late 20s or, like, early 30s. Okay? Kylie is the black sheep of her family. She got a kid already, and she already got a billion-dollar business. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm going to have a meeting with my business manager, and then I'm going to do some touch-ups and get into my Kylie Cosmetics little photo shoot and go to the other side of the office. Hi, you guys. Hi. What are we about to do? Photo shoot. 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 Shoot new lip kits. All right, so we're almost done for the day. I'm gonna wait for Harush and Andrew. Let's look through Harush's makeup. Yum. Imagine having everything done for you at a young age. Crazy. Can't wait. All right, so I changed into this lovely sexy robe. I'm gonna do some touch-ups and then get right in, do these shots really quick. I'm really fast with these. And then we're off back home to change and surprise Ariel tonight. So yeah, Angelina's just gonna tell him, Ariel, we gotta go out, we gotta do something for your birthday. And she is gonna take him to dinner and then we're all gonna be there and surprise him. All right, we just finished glamming with Harush, and I'm gonna do the first shot. Super quick. I'm wearing Posey velvet right now that's gonna be launching for Kylie Cosmetics. Posey is one of my most popular shades, so I made it in velvet because I know people love my velvet formula a lot. Why are you just looking at me? <laughs> I also am shooting Bear Matte Bear. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. This is what it looks like. Well, those will be launching on Kylie Cosmetics. Stay tuned on the Instagram for that date. Um, let's go shoot. That's crazy how this is like you off of makeup makeup was created to force women i think in the beginning i, I don't know for sure the whole history but i think 
like women creating makeup to impress men and now makeup's literally an art form that they're making billions off of now how y'all feel about that man something that was once created to impress you is now for monetary gain <laughs> in the art form Okay, so we just finished a full day at the office. We had meetings, we did a shoot, and now off to Ariel's birthday dinner. I'm literally gonna wear this home. <laughs> so, because I'm way too comfortable. Bye, everybody. Bye. She said, I'm gonna wear a robe home. This is a new level of billionaire, okay? A new level of rich, okay? She driving home in a Rolls Royce in a robe with some sandals. <laughs> okay. Thank you. She said, no, no, like a lot of people are gonna hate on this video and say work life balance. What work life balance? Bitch you eating at the table. Okay. Now I imagine that like it is a lot to run a business. I know a lot of people are probably seeing this vlog. I'm like, come on, dang, your life easy, right? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess some people's arguments valid. When you own a business, you can do what you want anyway. And she was already born into wealth. So, I mean, her type of... Let me put it like this. YouTube and people think the same thing when I make a YouTube video. Oh, you just make videos and upload them and make money. Well... It's not that easy, you know what I'm saying? If, it's, if it was that easy, everybody would do it, right? Yes, it's easy once you have a certain amount of money and you just can do whatever you want and you can make your own hours and you run on your own time and you eat what you, when you want, anytime, go get your kids, whatever you're doing. You can do, you have the time to do it. I feel like business buys you time versus a job that you maybe work, a construction job, um, a picking job, warehouse job. I've done all those types of jobs. As a matter of fact, I still work a regular job. I can see um, from which, where you're coming from, but at the same time, you got to think about it. They're running a business. If you ran a business, when you be doing the same thing, hell, sometimes when I'm editing some of my YouTube videos, not these, these are reactions, but if I'm doing a vlog and I'm editing it, dude, I'm not fucking, I'm sitting in my drawers in the bed with the computer editing, you know, I'm not working, like, I, have, I don't have to stand up, I don't have to do, like, it just, it's more comfortable, okay, running a business or being self-employed is more comfortable, just like you DoorDash and delivering food, so, I don't know. Some people are going to hate on this video. I understand from her perspective why she thinks it's work-life balance and this is not. Because raising a kid is not easy. It doesn't matter how much money you got. At the end of the day, it's not easy. Okay. I think you can tell the security officer kind of didn't want to be filmed. Kylie's skin restocking on June 5th. I'm restocking these full sets, the factory sets on June 5th. So you can get everything on June 5th, or if you want to wait till June 10th, that's when I'll be restocking individual products. And I wanted to plug my favorite lip kit ever. Her name is Kylie. So I put the liner on and then I put the matte lid in the center. 
Here's the thing, like on YouTube, she's gonna get views because she's already known from the Kardashian show. But if she was just a new YouTuber coming out, I don't feel like she would. She, you can tell she's shy on camera, in a way. Like Snapchat, the shit she used to, or Instagram video, is way different than making a YouTube vlog. You got to be a little bit more raw, and what I see is more fakeness than I see rawness. She's wearing makeup and doing all this and showing her life. But you're not really showing your personality, things you enjoy. I think that's the thing with YouTube. It's okay to show all this if you're a YouTuber. Once you've made it to a certain point, you can show off your wealth, I guess, in a way. I don't know. But, I mean, I wouldn't. But, you know. But her, she just, you know what I mean? She's She, she already is known as a rich person. So, coming on here, the only way I feel like you can do a little better is to, like actually show you you know you're not about your wealth like you got more to you than just the dollars or your lip kits or what you do in your life with your work life you know she showed a little bit of that with her kid but I mean I feel like personally she doesn't need to show her kid to show more of her if that makes any sense you know like um if you go watch I don't know Andrea Russett from the beginning, you know, she came from this type of home This is and that and came up and made a lot of money. Okay Okay, so it, it's a little different. All right. I don't have nothing against it Like if you go watch Marcia, you know, she lived in a shitty ass apartment when she first started Now her and Felix are doing pretty well So that's all I got to say. It's basically that <laughs> Ariel just posted on his Instagram story the night. He posted, I hate surprises. I hate when people surprise me. I'm not the type. I don't like the attention. So I literally cannot wait to surprise him. Wow. Now I want to now I want to surprise him even more. Ariel, I'm so sorry. I have to do this for you because I love you. Okay. Okay. Need my help? Dude, let's go. Let's get it. Let's see what's gonna happen. So the dress, I'm not gonna lie, my girlfriend would probably wear something like that. I will say this, the Kardashians, regardless of all this, the controversies with their fake implants and that, they do have some style, okay? So my girlfriend wanted to dress like this, cause me, I, I have trouble like shopping for my girlfriend sometimes. I have genuinely bought lip kits for a girlfriend I had in the past before. I have not had that many girlfriends, so just saying. But I've bought lip kits and like, you know, I wanna do stuff, special stuff for my girlfriend. Sometimes I look at some of these beauty channels and see, you know, maybe my girl like that and I, I won't get the same exact dress, but I'll try to find a style that fits that and maybe they'll like it. I'll send pictures to my girl. I won't. You know, you don't want to spoil the surprise, but this is interesting because you can send a couple pictures to your girl, say, "Hey, do you like this?" and not get the same, that not get the exact thing, but you know, you get something similar, and it, it'd be cool. Listen to me, guys. I got them tips. Okay, if you are a boyfriend, you need to get your tips from me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, Baby? Are you here? Oh shit, that's oh, her boyfriend. That's um, Travis. I'm just leaving. I was gonna say bye. Um, I'm just gonna go to dinner. I don't even know. Maybe like um, midnight. Bye. Cause everybody else, like, like you're in the room, my surprise can't be on time. <laughs> no, seriously, nobody's on time. We're <laughs> one person that table. Because I know where Ariel is. I'm on tabs on Ariel. But I told everyone to be there at 8, and one person is there. But that's what you have to do with surprise parties. You gotta tell them 7 if you want them there at 9. Like, yeah. it's bad. I know. <laughs> Wait, dude, is that Jordan Woods? I thought they were friends. <laughs> I think that's Jordan Woods. That's definitely Jordan Woods. <laughs> Me 
Yeah. Now, now I have a clickbait title. Is that Jordan Woods? Oh, I guess it's not Jordan Woods. Never mind. I guess it's not. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Jordan Woods basically cheated on, well, Khloe Kardashian's boyfriend cheated on her with Kylie's friend, well, ex best friend now, Jordan Woods. And that's why you don't see her around. But I thought that was her. I thought that literally was her. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't show up with only us. These people's makeup is through the roof. Man. So cute. So cute, right? It's a vlog? What's a vlog? I don't know what a vlog is. Kylie's face looks ridiculous in this video, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ariel. Happy birthday to you. I mean, they over here getting so drunk and all this bullshit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> My, my homies was like that subscribe subscribe I wish I had the army or a lot of people like that behind me man anyways guys I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I thought it was okay it was pretty cool anyways peace out early natives